Hey, I'm Matt with 731 Wood, 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 Wood. Hey, I'm Matt with 731 Woodworks. Today, over the next several days, my wife and I are going to refinish these cabinets. So these cabinets were here when we bought the house 10 years ago. They're kind of a um, less expensive model cabinets, you would say, whoever built the house put in there. So instead of us trying to figure out a way to pay for all new cabinets, we're gonna repaint them. And we're gonna be using Benjamin Moore Advance. So we're gonna do primer, and then we're gonna do several coats, two, three coats of the Benjamin Moore Advance. Going with an off-white color, I think, correct? Off-white color. So first thing we gotta do is take everything down. So we gotta take all the hardware off, we gotta take all the cabinets off, get everything ready to be painted. If you wanna follow us along in this process, just keep watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, share this on your social media, we'd appreciate it. Remember always to check the description down below for useful links and tips and show notes. So the reason we're gonna refinish them is we wanna update the look of this kitchen. The rest of the house, we've updated the bathrooms and stuff. So we're gonna to try to update the kitchen. This is the, the main part of the house everybody sees when they come in. And we wanted to update this for a long time. So we're, by painting these cabinets, it's gonna give it an updated look. We're gonna redo the trim up top so that it's not the uh, regular crown molding. We're gonna go with a little more modern looking trim. If you stick with us, I'll show you how we're gonna do this. All right, when we first started, <laughs> hey, what's up? Bad memories. <laughs> when we first started the kitchen project, well, we've been thinking about it for a while. A long right. time. And then we wanted to do it and we decided, I think you researched and found where uh, Benjamin Moore up. I think it rated, yeah, it rated number two. It's supposed um, to be like really good. The number one that we found, I don't remember the name of it now, um, we didn't have it anywhere near us, so it wasn't something we could Benjamin Moore feasibly wasn't really get. close though. No, we had to go to Little Rock to get it. It was an hour and a half drive just to get Benjamin Moore paint. And we got, we ended up getting a gallon of primer. Yes. And then two gallons two of gallons Benjamin of Moore paint. cabinet paint. And we only used one gallon of the paint, but we needed more primer because right. of something that happened later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we did was we, uh, to get started on our cabinets, the first thing we have to do is obviously take everything down so you can paint everything properly. And that's when you start living in chaos. <laughs> yeah. The chaos has been It got pretty crazy there. Everything was piled up. Yes. Didn't have a kitchen for, what, a week? About a week. When you start this, being prepared, the dry time of the paint, uh, the primer and all that's going to take a while. So we had to, we didn't, we knew that it was going to take we a while. We planned about seven days. And it took about Six seven days. Six or seven days. days, yeah. By the time we... Even with errors. <laughs> it took about a week. We've been scared of doing this for a long time though, and I think a lot of people are scared of doing this. We, we were scared that it wouldn't stick. Mm -hmm. And that was the major issue. We didn't want every time you take dishes in and out or open a drawer, your finger hits it just wrong or it just scratches. And we were really worried about that. Or grease splatter. Yeah, stuff uh, like that would, would damage the paint. Food splatter of any kind, staining or damage. Especially after the, how much work goes into this. Absolutely. Because this is, it's it a is, lot of work. It is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I, right here, just taking the cabinets down and taking the hardware and all that off, that's that's when you start realizing how much work you've just stepped into. I didn't realize how many doors we had. I didn't either. It's like 30 of them. And I, 30, I ordered all new hardware and I knew that we had to order 30 uh, knobs and I think it was 14 handles, but. The drawers wasn't hard because they're just, they'll pop yeah. right out. But the doors was, there was a lot of doors. You, and you'll see them in, the, in here in just a minute where they're just, they start stacking up and they and stack. You see me on the video here uh, where it looks like I'm writing on something or doing something. What I'm doing is putting a number system inside each door where the hardware would cover idea. it up. I, I, I don't know that I'd have thought of that. We were trying to figure out a way to, <coughs> to know where, because we want to put the same doors back where they go. And inside where you take that concealed hinge out, it's actually a pocket there, a hole. And she wrote where it went. Like for the top, it was one T one, for number one, and then the one, T for top. One B for bottom, and then I uh, for the sink, because they can only go mm. one direction. I just put an S on each door, and then uh, for stove, I put S because the ones above the stove are not the same size as the ones below the sink. So I knew that what was going on there, and I used an L for fridge. Mm -hmm. So you just so come up with your own system. We yeah. was able to organize, or she was able to keep us organized. 
And then we took that crown molding off because you wanted a new, that was not my idea. That I was yours. hated that crown molding that was up. <laughs> so it's, we took that old crown molding off and put that, it's just it was, a one by four, but it looks, it gives a little more, more modern look, I think. I found that online somewhere and uh, saw that someone else had done that. It's really inexpensive, but it's also really cool. And you can make it look any way you want because, yeah. you know, we decided to make it overhang a little. And then uh, you'll see in the video later where we went around the stove how we put those corners together. That was just a choice. Mm -hmm. but you could do it a number of ways. It, it turned out nice. I like how it looks. I do too. It's a lot more modern. I hated that stuff that was up there. Yeah, it was just a cheap crown molding is all about we had. About an inch, I yeah, think it is what it was. Yeah, it was And this is three and a half inches now. So yeah. it, it actually gives it a little more depth. And then what we did next, after we got everything down, we took it outside. We riped it down <coughs> with a, with a uh, TSP solution. We it's supposed it to remove like the grease or grime or anything that's on there. I don't know that that stuff even worked. I don't think it did anything. Save your money and don't buy that. You need, because if you prep them correctly, you're not gonna need it. So this was the issue. We took this 120 grit sandpaper and we were we watched some videos online that said lightly sand your cabinets before you paint your primer. And that's what the instructions said to do with so we, the Benjamin Moore instructions. We lightly scuffed it and you can see what we did. It was light. It was a light sanding. And then after that was done, we wiped everything down with a damp cloth mm -hmm. and we primed it. here we're putting up our new trim and this right here on this part this is where you can kind of make it any way you want you can adjust the angles I wanted to do it a specific way so that I had a solid flat front and very few angles but I still had an overhang I actually liked how it turned out where you left it overhanging there where it's not just a flat corner. It's this got a little more detail. This is the pantry area. Yeah, it's above the refrigerator. I liked how that done, how you done that. I thought that was a good idea. You know, it's such an inexpensive way to make it much more modern. <laughs> Except for the board. Kitchen. We had one board we sent our oldest son after and it was my fault because he just told him he needed a one by eight, uh, or one by four, eight foot long. And they just gave it to him. I always pick my lumber out and he didn't know because I didn't tell him. And he come back and it was twisted like that. It was like when I put it up, one side was flat and the other side looked like that. So be careful on your lumber. Make sure you Yeah, you, you gotta make right sure one. it's straight for that. It's gotta be perfectly straight. And we started out, I started out priming everything in the grass on some plastic sheeting. This is a bad, bad, bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> if you're gonna do this, you need at least double, uh, double plastic so that you have a larger area because plastic just, I mean, grass was blowing in our uh, onto our paint stuff. So we moved that to the driveway later and it worked out a lot better. And I was priming inside while he was priming all the doors outside. And we rolled, or she rolled, used a roller and rolled that, um, the paint and the primer on inside and I used a, a home right sprayer to spray the outside. And it turned out pretty nice did, on both of them. The, the good thing about Benjamin Moore is it's a self-leveling. So what that means is as it cures it starts leveling itself out but you have to use the right rollers or sprayer um, there's certain the really fuzzy uh, rollers you can't use on it messes it up And 
this happened. So after... And then this happened. <laughs> so so we, we discussed what to do for quite a while, I think. We did. And we wound up... And we wound up deciding that it had to come off because at this point we hadn't gotten the paint on there, so we knew... At this point, we knew that if it didn't come off, it would, nothing was going to stick on top. So we just took a sander and we sanded from 7.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon without stopping. There was three of us on rotation, our oldest son, and then us two. We had to sand all the doors and all the face frames. And then, uh, it was, I, my shoulders hurt when we were done. And we were sanding so much. One thing that's important on doing that, our cabinets um, had that almost like a faux finish. It was, it was that, like a shi that shiny, shiny surface shiny looking. from the factory. Uh, they're real wood underneath but they've got that that finish put on them and so we put up plastic and we wore masks and i was bad about taking my mask on and off and i ended up getting sick extremely mm -hmm. sick like so, a respiratory infection yeah mm -hmm. and i'm still actually on the tail end of that right now so i sound this way and it's been two or three weeks since we finished it's been a while it's been a while so make sure that if you end up doing something, you're working with those kind of cabinets, make sure you keep yourself protected a lot better than I did. And I had an RZ mask that we were using. <clears> it's, <throat> it's a really good mask. I used it and I didn't have any problems. So, But if you want one, look in the description. There'll be a, a link to that the RZ mask as well as uh, all these supplies and stuff that we were using. That scraper, we wound up having on those doors. I wound up having to use this scraper and scrape, or we scraped off. Mm -hmm. a mountain of that primer. I mean, yeah. it, it just peeled right up. It wasn't hard to come off. Right. And this is probably but why we ran out of primer. This is why we ran out of primer, because um, we, we used it on this, and then we had to turn around and prime everything again. And what we ended up doing, we didn't want to go all the way back to Little Rock to get primer, so we ended up going to uh, Sherwin-Williams locally. And get an Extreme Bond primer. And got Extreme Bond, Bond primer, which worked out really well. We may could have done that from the beginning. We and, probably could have. Um, we use Pro Classic on all of our furniture anyway, and we, we probably could have got away with using Pro Classic in here too, and it would have worked just fine. But we did like the self-leveling of this medium and more, and it worked out. It worked nice. We, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I am too. Uh, now in the end, hasn't been a full 30 days, and it's still not fully cured. We've, mm -hmm. we've had a couple of tiny, tiny nicks, yeah. but that happened within the first day or two. Yeah. And what we, we did is we it. just patched it a little with, I put it on my finger and just touched and it. And it leveled right out, you can't even tell where it's at. Yeah. So. This is what we here at 731 Woodworks like to call square one, and we're back at it. So what happened was we put on the primer before we prep the uh, surface correctly. So this is an unfinished or an unprepped surface. What we were doing was just painting on this uh, shiny surface and we needed to sand it down until it got to this mat. So the primer didn't stick properly as you saw in the video. So I had to sand everything back down. We started this morning at about 7.30 sanding and this is now it's uh, 4.30. So quite a long time sanding. So once we finally got everything sanded down that afternoon, late that evening, it was late, mm -hmm. later, probably six, seven o'clock, we went ahead and put a coat of primer on. Yeah. And uh, I sprayed the doors and then she, on, when you sand the stuff, like if you've got cabinets that has a shiny finish, we took 120 grit sandpaper and I don't know how many sheets we used, but it we was We used a, a lot. We, we had to send our son back to get to buy it twice, I think that day, because we were using so much of it. But we sanded it down until that shiny finish was gone. So we was basically down to the wood. Yeah, and it was down to almost completely unfinished wood. Yeah. And it's important to get it there. And then we waited a Another full 24, 24 hours. hours. <laughs> Which is, so now why, we're a day yeah, which is why we went ahead, even though we were tired that day from sanding, mm -hmm. um, you can't really lose time. So after that, this is what it looks like. It come out, you know, there's a night and day difference between that, I don't know what color you call that, but Like oak an oak, yeah, it's about this white. Medium, light medium oak. Um, and, you know, I wanted the shaker style cabinets, which is basically what our bottom ones were. Mm -hmm. um, not, not the true, a contemporary shaker style, but the top had that swerve in it, or yeah, that, curve. that curve, that arch. And so that that the color we chose, swerve. I think, made it look a lot. Yeah, <laughs> swerve, made it look a lot more modern. Yeah, it it did. We it, had to compensate for that somehow, and that's why we went with a light color. And then we just, I think, we put three coats of the Benjamin Moore on. Right? We did. We ended up putting three coats. So that's three days. We put a coat on. And you let hours. it dry, put a coat on, let it dry, and put the last coat on. And then after that last coat, you wait 48 hours. 48 hours. 
before we put anything back up. Yeah. So everything was in my garage or in our garage uh, in the shop and we just had it all laid out so that it wouldn't uh, get messed up, but we just left it. Now on the doors, you have to also take into consideration there's two sides to them. Mm -hmm. So we're painting one side and letting that fully dry for about eight hours and then, and then flipping it and just painting the other side and letting it set for 24 hours after that. You also got to be careful with your tape on yeah. this because you got to keep that tape down. You need to buy a good tape. Don't don't skimp out. Yeah, if go you're ahead gonna, and pay the money. Yeah, if you're going to go through um, the process of doing your cabinets, pay $15 for a roll of tape versus six. Yeah, because a roll of tape is going to get you through your whole kitchen unless you've yeah, got a Yeah, one roll, kitchen. you just keep the same piece down and it's so important that you get that clean mm -hmm. cut when you pull it up. Now, I, I think we ended up paying $8 for a tape. That was the best we had here. Yeah. Um, I wish we had gotten some in Little Rock that had been a little bit better because we ended up scraping yeah, on the a floor yeah. a we tiny bit. Better. Not a lot. It, it worked it worked all right. All right, but no, we, had, we had to go back and cut in with a brush on some of the corners um, to the paint side of our wall where our sheetrock hit the cabinets. So, you know, spend fifteen dollars on paint. Yes. You learn learn the small stuff matters. And then between each coat, we took a that same sanding block we we're using. You can get that at Walmart. And then a two twenty grit or higher, two twenty to three twenty grit sandpaper, and lightly sand between every coat. And we've done that on the face frames and on the mm -hmm. doors on both sides, on all the everything. edges. Uh, everything that's painted, you, you sand between coats. And what that does, it keeps any grit or any roughness out. That way, when you're done, that final coat, it goes on really smooth. And that's yeah. self-leveling paint. It comes back to that, it levels out. Make sure you wipe it. Yeah, uh, yeah we wiped your, it. Keep your cloth clean. Wipe a door or two, mm -hmm. rinse it out, and... Yeah, yeah spend we wiped the time the, to do that. We, we wrung out the rag every time. After mm -hmm. you sand it, we would, after you sand it, we would take a damp cloth and wipe all the doors and the drawers and, and the face frame and everything and get that sanding dust off of there so that when you paint, you don't seal that dust under there and keep that grit on there. Maybe here, this was the paint going on. Yeah, this is about the second or third coat here. Yeah, you can see how much of a difference it's already making. And we used a satin. This is a satin finish is what we what you decided to go with. Yeah, we debated on that though. Mm -hmm. We when always we talk about semi-gloss. We like I think to paint with semi-gloss. We use it on the walls, but I think it yeah. would have been too shiny. Because this is actually, it has a nice sheen to it. The, well, the, you know, satin is what you put on your trim. Right. Your crown molding around your ceiling and your door trim and stuff. So we kind of wanted that continuity there. Yeah. And then you redone the light, which was really awesome. Chicken yeah. wire, rope. That was a last minute kind of thing. We just, uh, we got that the stuff painted with the cabinet. Actually, we used the ceiling mm -hmm. not ceiling but the trim paint the trim paint on the light we didn't mm -hmm. use the cabinet paint there. it was the same color that surround around that light was the same color as our cabinets yeah so we it went back that, with the, the trim color which is a the eggshell yeah. yeah and once we did that and we got ready to pop that plastic thing back in place it looked terrible yeah it did it, it brought the old look right back mm -hmm. that old style because it just had a the, i don't know what you call that it. it's just a, like a plastic grate and it was ugly. yeah it, it was an awful it was really white. dated yeah it almost looked like something that would go on a spaceship or something you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a little spaceship model ugly. so we made a quick run to atwood's um because I wanted chicken wire yep. just to just try a farm something. Store, local farm store. And we found a roll of chicken wire for six dollars, mm -hmm. brought it home, and I thought it looked neat, but I thought it needed a little something extra on it. Yeah. And we had some rope. Yeah. And I had rope. a I had enough of that rope to do four runs on each side and it turned out It looks great. I, I love it. It turned out gorgeous, I think.
And we started putting doors up. And we didn't know that they had bent one of the, the original people who put it up, the first door they had bent, the first two doors, they had bent the hinges to make them set level because they had missed, when they drilled the holes, they, they, they missed, they missed them. On, on and so the they one. were off. And so when we put them back up, I don't know it how it happened. Two doors. We, we didn't put the exact hinges in the rack, exact same spot, so it was off a little. So yeah. then we started trying to work with it. And they went up on a long story short, went and bought new hinges and put up there. And for those two doors. For those two doors. And, you know, we didn't mention it, but when we put those numbers on those doors to number them, mm -hmm. to keep that protected, we used tape. Yeah, we used painter's right. tape, a little strip. And put it right on top of yeah, that. If you that don't way, do that. when we spray, when you spray paint up the yeah. doors, you didn't want to spray over that number so yeah. that you would know what to put back up. And we forgot to mention that. I was but, actually really nervous when we started putting this stuff back together because I was scared we was going to scratch it. Yeah. I mean, it had been 48 hours, but I was still nervous because we'd put a lot of work well, in this. and it really, it, you're supposed to wait 72. Yeah. Um, according to according to some instructions, yeah. 72 hours. That's a long time. But we were. We were tired and <laughs> you week. were getting ready to go back to work yeah, uh, the next day. So had we done that, we would have actually had to wait another two mm -hmm. or three days because I was getting ready to leave for a week yeah. um, for work. And so it, we did 48 hours and we were really careful. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the final it, product though it was, was worth it. I mean, it was really worth it. Yeah. It was a lot of work. It really is a lot of work. It's but it turned out yeah. so nice. I mean, it it made the kitchen. It went from an old kitchen to a new kitchen to us. And all we did was paint it. I know it says all we did was paint the cabinets. It doesn't seem like that much, but it's a lot it's of work. It's a lot of work. But it does update your house. And you know, great, it, you know, like a ton. for our cabinets, which we ended up having to buy a second thing of primer. Um, and I don't think we would have had to do that if we hadn't. We wouldn't have. If we if hadn't we had messed up, it right, we'd yeah. have had enough. Yeah. So cost-wise, I think anywhere from two to three hundred, depending on how many cabinets you have. For us, we were around the two forty mark, two hundred and forty. Yeah. But, but that was with the second thing of primer. And then all the sandpaper. Um, and the sandpaper, and of course that doesn't include new hardware. I'd have bought, I had purchased that a couple of years ago. Right. This, because that's when stainless. we wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. Stainless hardware. Yeah. We, we wanted to do this a couple of years ago and we never did. eBay is your friend on hardware. Yes, there's a, um, a particular buyer I like to order from on there. If I can find the mm -hmm. link, we can put it on there or put the name on there somewhere. But uh, when we put our stainless steel appliances in a few months ago, back in December, mm -hmm. that's when we knew yeah. we needed like, to we, paint these cabinets. Yeah, because that really, that really made the yeah. old come out. It yeah. just, it's just it wasn't it wasn't hadn't been updated in you know since we bought and we bought the house what 10 11 years ago yeah 10 years ago now and so and when we updated our cabinets and our bathrooms the ca the cabinets in both bathrooms were the exact same color the oak same style everything. same style same hardware everything and we updated those a while ago um i think the master bath we did it some at some point last year mm -hmm. and that was when we we thought okay we can do this <laughs> And we didn't do all the prep work that we did in the kitchen, or and mm -hmm. we ended up scratching it up. And yeah, it still um, scratched up. It still got some scratched places. We didn't use cabinet paint for one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we used a regular type paint and the, uh, paint, and then we put that wax over it. And I think the wax, wax ended up sil mm -hmm. sealing it there. But you don't want to put the wax over this yeah. because it's going to change your color. Yeah, it'll it'll amber as they yeah. call it. It'll yellow it's, a little it'll bit. It'll yellow it. So if you mm -hmm. want the white cabinets or the slightly off-white that we this used. This was called Dove White? Dove White. Right. Um, Benjamin Moore Dove White. Mm -hmm. And if you want that white color, a bright clean color, you don't want to put a wax over it. The Johnson's Paste Wax is what we used. Yeah, mixed, it's like we use it on the We mixed uh, the it with something board. else. The noodle boards we make, there's a video. The antique and wax. Mm -hmm. We mixed it with antique and wax. Yeah, in the yeah. bathroom. Mm -hmm. Was it worth it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I've really enjoyed <laughs> it. And then, of course, some of these doors and stuff wouldn't stay shut. I mean, it just happens with age, yeah. and, and this this area of Arkansas, the ground settles a lot, so your house is constantly settling. And so some of our cabinet doors, you know, wouldn't stay sh all but the they way shut. Have. They would be, you know, a, a little gap there where they weren't all the way to. So you ordered some uh, magnets, magnets off of Amazon. We'll drop a link below. But uh, now they just, you know, they'll snap because we but don't they, have the self closing. They've hinges. been doing that though. Oh since, yeah, since we got the since house. Since we bought the house. They've we always just, done that. We just live with it. 
and we've hated that mm-hmm. part because I, I'm OCD and so I walk in the kitchen and you yeah. know you have four cabinets that are about that open and I walk around hitting Try cabinets to, trying all to push the them time. Close and hold them maybe they'll stay yeah. maybe they won't so those magnets are perfect yeah. and I like the clicking noise that they make <laughs> some of them stick really hard though you yeah, be careful about how you install those. Don't get some of them. You have to pull them back a little. Mm-hmm. Some, but they're adjustable. You they can are. move them forward or back. And they're cheap. I think they were only a few dollars. Um, or Ten. I think it was maybe twenty dollars for all, all of, of the ones that we got. And we only put them on the doors. We didn't use them on the drawers. So. And we used uh, the little felt things on all the doors and the drawers. Yeah, the little old felt pads uh, mm-hmm. that you can put on like the back of the doors and stuff. We did that just because we didn't want our cabinets to over time hit the you know mm-hmm. the frames and, and make the you know scratches you can get those at walmart you can get them in a dark or a light color since we had dark when we had wood but now we have the light since we put a, it just a white keeps color that from bumping it's and most people don't do it but we put them on our drawers we did that was your idea because i didn't like the clack yeah we didn't like it uh, i wish we had the soft clothes <laughs> but since we don't we wanted that soft sound yeah these so are we put them on there and it worked well but these are actually inexpensive cabinets, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, and even the drawer slides and stuff are the cheapest you can buy. Uh, when we build furniture, we're using some high quality ball bearing slides so that it's nice. And these are just the, I don't even know what you call them, but they're, you can see on the video what kind they are. They're just, they're the cheapest you can get. And we were wanting um, to build new doors for all our cabinets. That's what, that was our we plan. Talked about it. We were going to put all new drawers in, build all new doors, and put that better quality up but yeah. then we got to calculating how much it would cost and we were we were thinking okay well there's <laughs> other things we could do uh, with that money instead but then we kept going back to the idea of wanting our kitchen to be updated and that's when i started looking at different paints and i think i found a video i think so someone on youtube maybe youtube or or maybe somebody shared it on facebook and it clicked and <laughs> i thought we can do that we can try that so would you recommend Benjamin Moore if somebody's wanting to paint their kitchen? <clears throat> you know, I don't know about the primer. I think the primer was fine. We just didn't prep correctly. I don't know if it was us or if I don't, I don't know <laughs> if it was the primer. I think I liked the Sherwin-Williams Super Bond. The Extreme Bond. The Extreme Bond. I think I liked it better. Yeah. The paint itself, while we were doing it, I would not have recommended it. I would have uh, I was worried it was I so was. thin. It was. It was watery. It was really thin. Almost watery looking to me. Um, I didn't and it think was it mixed was, well. So. I didn't think it was going to go very far, but we still have some left of the one gallon. Mm-hmm. We bought we two gallons. We have a gallon that's not even open. Um, but I started doubting it. Mm-hmm. And it, it was the only one that it talked was, about how self-leveling it was, though. Yeah. And as we've moved on in the last two or three weeks and I've seen it level, then yeah, I would definitely recommend <laughs> it. it. It leveled, and I And three it. coats was plenty. I, I was worried that we were going to have to do four or five coats as thin yeah. as that stuff was. But it wound up being great. It wound up being really great, and uh, I would recommend it. And it's it's like uh, fifty dollars a gallon, was it? Uh, um, the Benjamin Moore. Was it like fifty dollars a gallon? <sighs> fifty or it was sixty or something. Yeah, I think so. Charlie wants to mm-hmm. be part of it. Um, it, I, you know, I think it was around a hundred and sixty that day, and For we got three. Let's, no, we got three: two paint and one yeah, primer. That's right. But they called us, um, the place we purchased from in Little Rock called us after we had already been back a few hours and said mm-hmm. that they had accidentally overcharged us and they issued us a credit, a refund, a refund our card um, for 20 or $30. I think so. so it maybe 50 or $60 regular price. We hit it on a sale. She did not like living during the chaos <laughs> either. She don't like chaos. She likes it all nice and quiet. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to do this, you have to understand that you, in order to do it the right way, you need to prepare for a week at least. Yeah, at least a week. And um, if you have, I mean, that that was us. I was off work for a week. So that means, you know, I had, we had time to, and he was out for the summer. So, yeah, school so we out. had time to dedicate to doing this, where is if I was working uh, regular hours, it would have been difficult to yeah. work around that. So definitely plan your time around that uh, it's not a weekend project for a, for a kitchen this size and I don't think we have a extremely large kitchen but it's, it's a decent size yeah with a lot of drawers and doors I didn't know that we had 30 doors until we did this and after we uh, <laughs> finished 
doing all of this, we decided, or I decided, I wanted a pop of color. Yeah. For our bar, so that's where the bar stools came in. Now they're red. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, it, what the fun thing about updating a kitchen and using just a, a white color is that you can do something like that. Yeah, you can go add back some and color to that. add a little spice. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had fun doing it. Not really. But well, I'm it, glad we did it. It was not fun. <laughs> it was not fun. I actually want to redo our bathroom cabinets again now after doing this um, with the right stuff, but he keeps saying no, so. <laughs> I'll stick to the woodworking. Oh, uh -oh. see, Charlie didn't like it She's either. She's ready to be done with the video. Tell hey, thank you guys for watching. Don't Thanks, forget guys. To, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button below. Click the bell icon so you're notified when we upload new content. Uh, we got some pretty good stuff coming, so stay tuned. Was it worth it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>